to another edition of A Shave and a Song, a show all about shaving with a straight razor while we listen to some great music while we do it. How you doing? I hope you've had a good week. hope you're about to start another great week. It's going to be a good day today. It's, a, it's always enjoyable to start the day with, a, with a, a shave, at least it is for me. I, I look forward to it. I know a lot of people uh, maybe don't, but it's... Uh, it's a great way to start out the day for me. I like it. So today we're shaving with the Dovo Best Quality 6 eighths. And going to be doing some Barrister and Man First Snow today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know it's June, getting close to July, but uh, this is really a nice fur and leather. Uh, fragrance I like it a lot so we'll finish it off with the same thing first snow barrister man and club man panade today so let's get to it let's uh, let's make some lather shall we I've been looking forward to today because I'm continuing on with my two-part series which now I'm thinking it may turn into a mini series <laughs> I haven't decided yet uh, I began last week with uh, uh, Walter Becker was my featured artist last week and I, I kind of said that you know I liked him so much that I couldn't choose what song. He only had two albums uh, before he passed he, but he had a lot a lot a lot a lot of albums with Steely Dan. Uh, he's the lead guitarist for Steely Dan but he went solo uh, and produced released two albums one in 1994. Four, I believe it was, 94, 98, I can't remember now. Uh, and the other one in 2008, I think it was 1994, and then 2008 was the second one. The first one, 11 Tracks of Whack, we featured a song off last week, and then I said, you know what, I like him so much, I'm, I think I'm going to feature a song off his second, second album, Circus Money, today, which is what I'm doing. I've got the uh, lather in my scuttle, by the way, so now I'm going to foam it up, froth it up really nice before we go on to the face. <clears throat> so after after today I thought, you know, maybe should I feature some Donald Fagan solo stuff since, uh, since I'm kind of on a kick uh, with uh, Steely Dan members. And if I did that, then would I have to feature some Chevy Chase stuff? Yeah, <clears throat> before the Steely Dan group was officially named Steely Dan, uh, Chevy Chase was on drums with Walter Becker on guitar and uh, Donald Fagan on keys in a jazz band long, long ago. So there you go. A little, little trivia today. So let's wipe the face up, shall we? I need a little bit more water running. There we go. So, last week, as you know, when we featured... Uh, a song off of 11 Tracks of Whack. It's a great album. But it's produced by Donald Fagan, co-produced by Donald Fagan. Great album, but it's it's got that dated sound to it. You know, released in... It, I guess, you know, I'm wrong. It wasn't released in 94. It was 1989. 1989. Because it has that dated electronic drum sound to it that the 80s were so famous for. All the songs are really, really good on it. It just dates itself. Now, his second album, released in 2008, entitled Circus Money, does not have Donald Fagan's involvement. At least, Donald Fagan is not mentioned anywhere in the credits. But it, uh, it definitely has a Steely Dan feel to it, and it definitely has a Steely Dan sound to it. It's, it's mixed perfectly. It's spot on, I think. Let's go for the first pass. And again, it has that Steely Dan sound to it, with one notable exception. Walter Becker is on lead vocals instead of Donald Fagan. Now, I... I 
I like Donald Fagan's voice. Superb. Perfect for what they're doing. And even though Circus Money sounds a lot like a Steely Dan album, it would not be the same if Donald Fagan was on lead vocals. These songs are perfect for Walter's voice. Shape's coming along really good today. So I hope you took some time to listen to last week, 11 Tracks of Whack. So you can compare it to this week's Circus Money. Both albums stand on their own. Both albums uh, have a different sound to them, I think. The only problem with circus money is that I had a really hard time deciding what song I had a really hard time deciding what song I wanted to feature off of circus money because it's one of those albums that you can you can listen to the entire thing. You sit down and go from first song to last song in, in the album's entirety and you like every time, every song. Um, and for me, that's circus money. I, I like them all. So I had a really hard time deciding on which one I wanted to feature today. I kept going back and forth and back and forth. So finally, let's go ahead and with the uh, second pass. Finally, after uh, listening to the album through this week at least four times, after much indecisiveness, I decided on a song. Features some great Steely Dan uh, or Walter Becker guitar work. Some of the stuff that he does is little uh, floating, floating uh, pull-offs or, or uh, slides that are just in the background and barely perceptible. But without them, the song wouldn't be the same. Fantastic vocals. It's a great piece. Um, and it is uh, entitled Paging Audrey. Um, not Audrey, Audrey. And uh, I like it a lot. I've had a little, little pimple there for a couple days now, and I guess I'm finally shaving it off. <laughs> Just what you wanted to hear, right? So I guess with no further ado, I'm excited to play this today. I'm going to get in the mood to listen to the album again, I'm sure, after playing this. This is from the second album, Circus Money, released in 2008. This is Walter Becker and Paging Audrey. Oh, 
just slip away.
Walter Becker from his 2008 release off Circus Money. That is Paging Audrey. Man, I like that song. Tasty sax in it. Nice little guitar riffs, you know, uh, just little subtle things during the chorus and whatnot. Powerful tune. And, and I tell you if, you, if you listen to the entire album, I like all the songs off this album. It's, like I said earlier, it's one of those albums that you can really, really listen to start to finish and like everything on it. So uh, that was finishing up with, uh, or actually shaving with Bear Spear Man, First Snow. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of aftershave. There we go. Feels nice, smells nice. A little bit of fir tree and leather. Mm -hmm. ah, and I'm ready to begin the day. All right, well, that's it for today. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the show, this little two part series featuring Walter Becker. Go out and listen to both albums, 11 Tracks of Whack and Circus Money, both really good albums. Uh, 11 Tracks of Whack, again, a little dated, <clears throat> but it's still good. Where Circus Money, I think, now, yeah, it, it, uh, it could have been released today. It's uh, that timeless. So now I have a decision to make. I don't know. Do I go on uh, with uh, other artists, or now do I, do I continue on this road and maybe do some Donald Fagan uh, solo stuff? and then wrap it all up in a couple of weeks or so with uh, some Steely Dan stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll have to really ponder that one over the week and see what I want to do. I, I, I would definitely not be disappointed if I decided to go Donald Fagan and then Steely Dan route. I just want to make sure that I'm not staying too focused on a type of music because it happens to be one of my favorites. So <laughs> there you go. Well. There's that long ramble as I'm trying to decide what to do for next show already. Hey, if you enjoyed the show, you enjoyed the music, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I come out with new uh, shows. Leave a comment. Love to hear what you're thinking, what your reaction to the show was. If you have an artist, song, or whatever you'd like to uh, have me listen to and maybe feature, drop that in the comment section as well. And by all means, make sure you spread the word. You know, it's a fun little show. We get to uh, we get to do the daily task of shaving. Maybe you pick up a few pointers if you're interested in getting into straight razor shaving. That's not really what this show's about. There are many, many, many more how to shave with a straight razor shows out there. This one is, hey, I'm shaving with a straight razor and I'm listening to some great music maybe that you haven't heard before, maybe that you haven't heard in a long time. Maybe it's on your heavy rotation playlist. We just have fun with it. So uh, tell others about it. Spread the word. I guess I'm done. Ready to go. Be uh, putting on some Club Man Pinot here really soon. So that's what we'll finish up with. So I guess until next time, you know, live life, everybody. Enjoy the music. Get out there and listen to that Walter Becker album. And uh, let me know what you think of it. And until next time, happy shaving.